reasons. Uh, one is we have a computer lab right here, which is a very particular computer lab. These computers are attached to the catalogs and the databases only. So you can't get on Facebook here, you can't do email, you can't print a paper, but what you can do is search for articles that you need and then print them out for free. That's the key part, is you get free printing here of any articles that you find. The other key part is we have a librarian here, most of the time that the building is open, there's a librarian there, that's Kirsten, here right now, that is here that can help you with any questions. So when you're doing research for a paper, ideally those two things should really matter to you. Free printing, and I can get help, it's right here, right next door, when I need to. Now, I mentioned before that we have a reference collection. Those books actually start over here, at that end, in this room, start with the A's, go through the PNs, and right here. And then a lot of times people get confused because it stops at PN here and they're like, where's the rest of the reference collection? It starts back up in that room and then continues through that room. So the reference collection is A through PN, PN to Z over in that room. These are all books that cannot be checked out. Okay. Oh, but they can be checked here inside. You can look at them in here and you can make copies, yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have these collections. Here's another um, collection where we pull books out on a particular topic. This is about higher education. So if you're doing any kind of a, a paper on higher education, there's a number of books here you can use. And we get new books in all the time. Those new books are put in these carrels here right in the middle. So as you're walking through the library, stop and take a look at these. And there might be books you'd be interested in either for your classes or just to read. Um, those are all the new ones we have. Do we have a catalog of these books? Yes, they're all in the catalog. Manual catalog? Um, I don't know if we have that. Do we have a, a print catalog of our reference collection? I don't think so. You can limit it in the... So we, we, we can not set, we have lost some. Yeah, or what you can do in the catalog when you search is you can limit it to reference titles. <coughs> and then everything that comes up will just be reference. Yeah. The new books here are also in our catalog under a new, actually they're on our website under the new titles collection. So if you are at home, you can just look at our library website, see, look at the new titles collection, it'll show you which new books we have. Okay. Okay, let's come back here. I mentioned that there's different parts of the library depending on what you want to do, like how quiet you want it. You'll notice that over here we have a bridge lounge, and over here we have a bridge lounge. These both have really comfortable furniture, very quiet areas, and you might think to yourself, how do I get over there? Well, you just kind of walk through the book stacks, walk around the corner, walk through the book stacks, walk around the corner, that's how you can get into those, those areas. But if you want somewhere that's kind of more comfortable, that somewhere where you might actually like take a nap or something, those are kind of good places to do it. You'll also notice if you look down here, those of you who can, there's a woman studying right there at that desk on the second floor. We have study tables on every floor here. Those are really secluded areas as well. Good for studying. Okay. Let's go to the fourth floor. Thank you. 
So this is the 4,000 level of the library. There isn't a 4,000 level of the library in the old building, as you'll notice. If you look across there, you can see there just isn't a fourth floor there. Uh, it's only in the new part of the building that there's a fourth floor. Up here, we have our CD collection over here. These are music CDs. There are also stuff like um, this one, teaching social communication to children with autism. So there's CDs for learning as well. Uh, we also have these DVDs here. Again, these are to be for fun, like this one here, the Beastie Boys, you know, a rap group. We have a DVD, a DVD of theirs. We have DVDs of TV series and movies. Um, all of these are, get, are just like books. They get checked out for free. They don't cost you anything to check them out. Um, sometimes students get a little confused. They think it's kind of like a, a, a DVD store where you're going to have to pay to check them out. Not the case here. So if you want a DVD and you want to watch a movie and just relax for a while, come up here and see what we have. And we might have a movie or a TV series you're interested in. Okay. Let's go over here to the desk. So we, we've actually currently have four service desks in the library. There's the circulation desk, which is the first one we stopped at. Second one, we didn't really stop at, we just kind of walked by. That was the desk in the Ballinger Teacher Center. Sometimes there's somebody working there during the day. At night, there usually isn't. The reference desk is our third service desk. We just stopped by there. This is the fourth one. This is our library technology services desk. This desk is where you can check out DVDs, you can check out CDs, you can check out books. They will also help you if you come over here to the computer labs and there's some kind of computer issue or something. Sometimes people would like to borrow headphones when they're on the computer, they don't want to hear other students. We have uh, headphones here that you can check out. We also have headphones you can check out in the reference department as well. Um, there is always somebody here at this desk to help you when the library is open. So currently, um, Samantha's here, and then we, we saw Kathy earlier downstairs, she's up here now. Ashley is up here now. Um, you can see that our staff kind of goes wherever they need to go. Um, also keep in mind, the call numbers on the 3000 level, what were the call numbers again? A through H. H. Second floor was J through L, right? Bottom floor was P through Z. So what I left out were M and N. M is music. So everything over here on the left-hand side of this floor, these are music. It's music scores, music books. Everything on this side is art. So these are all, N is art. So that's all art books. Also, um, behind this desk, back there, we have some special computers that are connect to scanners. So if you need to um, scan something, to digitize it, to email it to somebody, you can use computers back there to do that. If you need help with that, ask somebody at this desk. You might also notice that around the outside of this floor, we have all these little rooms with, with glass windows. These are group study rooms. So if you're working on a group project, you can come in here to one of these group study rooms, uh, work with your colleagues. It's a little quieter because it's a separate room. Um, the one thing about the group study rooms is they are not, uh, there's no sign in for these. It's first come, first serve to get them. Okay. You can't book. You have to come earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't have a way to sign up for a room. You just have to kind of be here, uh, arrive here, and then use a room. So if you're using these rooms, it, like the busier time of the semester when papers are doing this kind of thing, you might want to try to get in here a little bit earlier. Otherwise, they'll be busy. They'll be full. If there's a, a study room and there's like one person in it, and you're five people, you could ask them if they would give up the room so you could use it. But um, it's up to them. We don't police that at all. Okay. Um, the other thing, too, if you're interested in working at the library, um, down here on this floor, all the way to that end, of the last door on the left is our administration suite. You go into the administration suite, you can fill out a card um, to apply to work here. We hire students during the year. It kind of depends on how much budget there is and what need we have. But if you're interested in working at the library, that's where you fill that card in. You should probably do a new card every semester so you can update what your availabilities are and this kind of thing. Okay?
Okay, so we're going to go into the classroom. We're going to do like a lecture. I'll take you through the library assignment, and then that'll be the night. All right, so let's go this way. Let okay. well, me stop here. Okay. We're going to stop here, actually. Okay. actually a very quiet night up here. Normally this floor is really bustling. Uh, these are our computer labs. There's two of them. We call these the fishbowl because they're surrounded by glass. So it's kind of like a fishbowl. Um, these computers, you can get on the internet. You can get on Facebook. You can check your email. You can print your papers. Um, you can do anything like that here. Printing up here does cost you, I think it's seven cents a page. Um, but this is where you can print your papers out. One thing about printing your papers, if your entire class has papers due, Try not to come up here the night before to print out your papers because every one of your classmates will be up here doing the same thing. The printer starts jamming, people start getting tense, they start getting upset. Save yourself some stress. Try to come the day before. I mean, before the day before. So, um, if you're on your, like right now, it's wide open, so you can really do whatever you want here within reason. Um, but if you come here and all the computers are full, if you are just like doing Facebook or something like that, be nice colleagues to your fellow, um, you know, fellow <coughs> students. If they need to get on here to do a paper, give up the computer so they can do it. But Facebook is important. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, let's go into the classroom. I'm going to be asking you to do stuff on the computer app. 